denial that it's going to take 18 months to two years to get a vaccine. This is a promise from the president based not on scientific fact. This is misinformation based, it seems obvious, on his desire to be reelected. That's all it was, Jay. Well, there were actually zero mea culpas from any of those geniuses today when the administration of the vaccine began to frontline health care workers. It happened all over the country, and by the end of the week, the government hopes to deliver roughly 3 million doses to sites across the country. Now, Americans should be beginning to breathe a sigh of relief, right? Well, after all, the vaccine is what for months those same medical elites said we would need to get back to normal. A lot of this. Uh, we cannot get back to normal until there is a vaccine for the novel coronavirus. I, I don't think that's going to happen until we do have a situation where you can completely protect the population. I think things are going to be permanently changed coming out of this until we get to a vaccine and we can fully vanquish this. The only way we'll get completely back to normal is uh, by having not, maybe not the first generation of vaccines, but eventually a vaccine that is super effective. I don't know, Bill, is 95% effective in the Microsoft world? The whole thing now seems like a bait and switch. The second richest of man in the world, of course, Gates, seems like he's kind of digging this whole new normal stuff. When do you think life will fully return to what we thought of as normal back in January? No masks, no social distancing, uh, no other protective measures necessary. Certainly by the summer, will be way closer to normal than we are now. But even through early 2022, unless we help other countries get rid of this disease and we get high vaccination rates in our country, the risk of reintroduction will be there. Why the heck does he get to proclaim on any of this? Did you hear what he said? 2022. You must do as he says, or no freedom. This is insane. For a virus that when you consider the total number of now estimated asymptomatic infections, it's less lethal than the flu. And right now, there's no reason for us to believe that there is any daylight between an incoming combined administration and Dr. Oh, wait, he's not a Dr. Gates. As far as we can tell, Bill Gates is an informal advisor to them already. Anthony Fauci, who will be elevated in January to the position of biological...